when your device is still misbehaving even after a reboot, the easiest thing to do next is to perform a UI-based factory data reset, which will clear the device back to factory conditions. That is, all third-party apps and user data and settings, except for those stored on the enterprise partition and those stored on the unadopted SD card, will be wiped. This is essentially like doing a Zebra enterprise reset, but much easier to implement. Let's see how. To perform a factory data reset on a TC20 or TC25, go to Settings, and scroll down the Personal section, and the Backup and Reset. Tap that. And then looking down towards the very bottom, we see the Factory Data Reset. Tap that. Here you see a little reminder of what's going to be removed or wiped from your device. And assuming that's what you were intending to do, uh, go ahead and hit Reset Phone. If you have a lock screen set up, uh, then you'll need to enter uh, whatever that was, whether it was a password or pattern or a pin. I've used a pin. And one more warning. Tap that. And you can see that the factory reset was started and then our screen, our remote display screen, uh, of course is cut off because we can no longer communicate with it. So I'll come back when it's actually finished the reset and has rebooted seems like you can't see anything right now okay it is done with the reset and reboot but we still can't see anything uh, and that's because it is back at the google setup wizard and not able yet to communicate with the remote display so i'm gonna splice time again i'm gonna go through the google setup wizard uh, if you um, haven't done this before. Uh, there's a demo, I think it's the first one on the list there, on setting up the initial device, which we have to do again, but there's no sense in making you walk through it because that's not the purpose here. So I'll be back in a moment when I'm finally done with that and can show you something on the screen. Okay, now you can see the device connecting. It means it's rebooted and set up again. So let's take a quick look at what happened to our device storage during the factory data reset. Let's bring up a command terminal window and run the ADV shell command to be able to execute Linux commands on the TC25. And then let's execute the DF space dash h where dash h is for please give me the numerical information in a human readable form and we see here the partition information and in particularly the size total size that is uh, how much has been used therefore how much is still available percentage of that and then the probably the important information on the right hand side as to what partitions that information is referring to and for comparison purposes, here's a screenshot of the same df-h command taken before the factory data reset was done. So on the left-hand side, uh, I've just overlaid these two screens so we can compare them. On the left side is the current storage configuration. And on the right-hand side is what we took a snapshot of before doing the factory data reset. Okay, so let's compare the before and after. Looking at the emulated storage partition, otherwise known as the internal SD card, we see that it did contain 1.7 gigabytes of data, but now contains only 333 megabytes. So a bunch of stuff was wiped. However, that's not the case for the portable storage SD card, shown here with its assigned number label of 4433 10E1. Note that before the reset, there was 1.5 gigabytes of data, and after the reset, there is still 1.5 gigabytes of data. The portable storage card was not touched, 
during the factory data reset. And almost the same goes for the enterprise partition, not touched very much. That is, out of the original 800K, only 8 bytes have been removed. The entire enterprise partition would have been wiped if this had been a zebra factor reset. So what data was actually wiped on the internal storage? Well, let's close the terminal windows and look at that using the file transfer window. All right, so that's what's on the internal shared storage after we did the factory data reset. Okay, um, maybe those are empty, maybe they're not. But let's go see what we had before. Okay, so on the right-hand side, we have a screen capture from what was there before we did the factory data reset. And on the left, we have what is currently on the internal storage SD card, the emulated one. We know it dropped a, you know, a gigabyte or so during the reset, so what's missing? Well, uh, looking on the right-hand side, I see that we had a uh, APK package, obviously a third-party one, and we were told it was going to uh, remove or wipe out all the third-party apps that are installed. So there we see that that is gone. If you look to the left, it's not there. The next thing down was there was a file, a little text file that I put on uh, each one of these SD cards partitions so that we could identify them. And this particular one says file on internal SD card. You see it's there before and to the left we see it's not there now. Uh, coming down a little bit further, there's an entire directory called My Tutorials and inside of it is one large MPEG-4 file, and on the left we see there is no such directory. That's again user data, and that's been wiped out. Here we see under pictures uh, here that there were some screenshots originally, and if we look over on the left-hand side, we can see that there is nothing. The arrow's down by the pictures directory, so there's nothing in it. And that story continues for the rest of the files and folders that are on the right-hand one, the before picture, and not on the left-hand side. So let's go over and now and look at the SD card on the device. This is the after one, and we see that's uh, what's on it. Let's go see what we had there before. Let me hire that window and bring up a screen capture from before the factory reset, or the factory data reset, I should say. Okay, if you look at the two, you see they're identical. Uh, and therefore, you that's what we should have been expecting, that nothing happened to that external portable storage. Again, they get a little sloppy with the terms, the file transfer window, the Android file transfer window, that is, calls the external one by the name of the actual SD card, uh, whereas on the uh, device itself, it either calls